All right, we're getting ready to cover five questions off the mathematical knowledge portion of the ASVAB. Now, this is part of the AFQT, so make sure you know how to do these if you want a chance of getting in the correct branch for your military preference. Mathematical knowledge. Now, you get 24 minutes here, so that means we need to average about a little under a minute for each question. Let's go ahead and knock out number one first. It says here, in the figure below, angle P of... Oh, measures 90%. What is the measure of angle ROQ? Well, POS, if you didn't know for an angle, the middle is always the vertex of that angle. Angle. So in this case, they're talking about POS. So this angle right here is 90 degrees. And they want to know what is this angle here? Well, by vertical angle theorem, which is when you have two lines crossing, this is always equal to that guy. So if this is 90, that's 90 as well. Answer B. Lots of ways you could estimate this one, but I'm going to do it the long way since it's still fairly quick. I'm going to change all these bottom numbers to a 10 here to get a common denominator so we can add the fractions together. That means that I'm going to be multiplying both the top and bottom by 2, because 5 times 2 gets me up to 10. That way they're all the same on the bottom. So 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. Those both become 10. Now we can just go ahead and add up 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 is the whole number unless we get one carried over. Then we got 2 plus 4, which is 6, plus another 3 is 9. So 8 and 9 over 10 is what we're looking for, which is answer A. So which of the following is equivalent to 4 over 5? Well, here's the deal. 1 over 5 is essentially saying how many times does 5 divide 100? Well, 100% divided by 5 would give us 20. So that means 20% would be 1 over 5 or 0.20. So if we have 4 of those, I can just do the 2 times 4, which is going to give me 80 instead of 20. So answer here is D. Personally, I think number 4 is just one of those things most people know. But if you don't, you can kind of look at it this way. If I had a whole number divided by 3, essentially I'm finding out which one of these added together three times would give me one? Well, to the nearest hundredth means we are rounding here. If I add this three times, it's not going to be enough. This two times is going to be too much. So the only answer here could be this. If we double check this, it would give us 0.99, which is going to be close enough since we're rounding. So answer is B. So just adding and subtracting fractions here. Again, I'm going to do it the long way just because I have the time to still do that under a minute. So let's first off get the bottom numbers all to be at the same 15. I'm going to multiply this first one by 5 because 3 times 5 gives me 15. If I multiply the bottom by 5, I've got to multiply the top by 5. So 1 times 5 is 5. So that's 5 over 15. For this one, 5 times 3 gives me 15. So I have to multiply the top by 3 as well. 2 times 3 is 6. So really we're looking at 4 and 5 over 15 and 3 and 6 over 15. Now if we add those together, that's going to end end up giving me 4 plus the 3, which is 7, and 5 plus the 6, which is 11, over that 15. Now we have to subtract this guy, but since this 14 is bigger than the 11, I do have to carry one from here, so I now I'm going to have a 6 out front, and I'm going to have another 15 to work with for subtracting. Well, 15 minus that 14 will give me 1 left over, plus the 11 we already had, so that's 12 over 15 total left over, and 6 minus the 2 is going to give us 4, so 4 and 12 over 15, which is A. All right, those were the first five questions for this test. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can check the next five as they come out. Or if you want to practice something else, go ahead and check these videos over here to cover all different types of ASVAB questions. My name is Daniel Caproni, and I hope you found this helpful.